Okay, Mary the Ambitious Gardener here. Uh, Mac thought it would be nice to show the rest of the yard today, um, since I really have stuff growing everywhere, not just vegetables. Um, this is the left side of our house, uh, or the west side of the house. And um, those are rows of Sharon hibiscus bushes that I actually got from donating to the Arbor Society. Um, they were just little twigs when I got them. And um, they haven't bloomed yet. This is the second year, I believe, that they're in. And uh, I put them back here because there's really nothing else back here on this side of the house. It gets a lot of shade, so there's not a lot of grass. Um, that's my ivy that I put in last year. Uh, this is really the first year that it's starting to get some substance to it. The squirrels like digging in it. Um, I think they hide a lot of nuts and stuff in there. I don't know. Um, this is a lantana uh, that I put in a couple of years ago. and It's, uh, it's an annual, so it comes back uh, every year. It gets hit with the frost. Usually I cut it back and uh, then in the spring it comes back to life and it gets these really pretty yellow flowers on them eventually. Um, let's see. Those are, I think you say, Dicinia. They are also an annual, if I'm, if I'm getting that right, and they come back every year also. Um, I just put this in today. This is a gardenia. Uh, I love gardenia. And that's a, viver a viburtum variegated. It's bright yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's bright yellow. And uh, this has been in for probably three years now, and it just hasn't grown a whole lot. But it's real pretty. Um, that's another tree I got from the Arbor Society. I believe that's a Washington hawthorn, and that's also a flowering tree. I've had that three or four years now. Um, and this is my red bud tree, another Arbor Society that I got from donating. And I put petunias in there this year, so um, they look really pretty. Uh, petunias are really easy to grow, and uh, they'll last all summer. You just have to deadhead them and, and trim them back because they're very prolific. So... Um, let's see, uh, that's a gardenia I transplanted a couple of months ago. It was in the backyard and it just wasn't doing anything and actually uh, a rabbit or some critter started eating it. So I moved it up here where the rose bush used to be that died and, um, it's coming back to life. It's springing back to life. So I'm happy about that. I love gardenias. That's a Dusty Miller. And then the front porch, you can see African violet, impatient, more petunias. Um, here's a little hodgepodge of plants that I put together, really pretty. Uh, petunia, impatience, and I'm not sure what you call those, but they're really pretty. Very colorful. Uh, the pansies have about had it. They don't really like the heat, and it is starting to get kind of hot, so... Um, probably another couple of weeks when we hit 90 degrees on a regular basis, they'll have to come out. Um, patients, I just planted in there, red and white. I love red and white. That's a succulent that I got from my mother-in-law. <laughs> it's huge. And um, another pansy. And then here's a, another uh, succulent uh, that I actually got from a good friend of mine. It was her mother's, and I inherited that. And um, it's really cool. The only thing is the wasps really like to nest within it. So you got to be careful there. Those are my African violets. They need a little uh, TLC, I think. Um, let's see, what else? So yeah, that's the front yard. Here's, here's a maple tree that we planted. We got it, I don't know, three or four years ago. It was probably two feet high when we got it. And I planted it there. And... Um, you can see it's a fast grower. It's beautiful. Spreading out. We had to trim some of the bottom. Um, 
branches off because it was really low. It was kind of hard for me to get to my uh, petunias down there. Um, but yeah, there's more petunias and there's actually some snapdragons in here too. They're getting overcrowded. There were pink and yellow. Where's the yellow ones? Oh, there they are. Um, and uh, this is the rose bush. This actually came with the landscaping of the house when we bought it. And um, it bloomed really nice this year. And more snapdragons. And these are my ligerstrums that I planted. They were tiny little bushes a couple of years ago. Now they've totally filled out. I made a nice wall, a barrier between us and the neighbor. So, anyway, that's the front yard. We'll head back to the garden. Um, of course, it's Sunday. I've been working out here all day, pretty much, as usual.